Joe Chappelle alongside 89 World Champ Martin Potter as we fly through the quarterfinals early this morning. Carissa Moore with a chance to wear yellow if she takes the win over Nikki Van Dyke in this matchup. She ended up going into round four. Here to see why it was so important. While we're at the break pots, Carissa got started. Wow, that's all I can say. Those first couple of turns and right there, laying back into that turn. Carissa Moore is on fire right now. Carissa Moore representing the beautiful island of Oahu and drops an 8.83 to establish her position in this quarterfinal matchup against Nikki Van Dyke. More waves on the way for the Victorian from the state of Victoria in Australia. Nikki Van Dyke will try to answer back big time to Carissa Moore. Mid-face bottom turn, just a casual start. This wave will grow on the inside. It's already bowling up. She has some speed. Deep bottom turn, perfect. Snap off the lip. Goes down on the next re-entry on the answer back. Now Carissa will hop out to regain priority on the very next wave. Yeah, Nikki can't afford to do that. You know, that uh, falling at the end of your wave. She did a couple of nice turns on that wave. And talk about what an incredible run. I mean, you had to make it through Lakey Peterson, Stephanie Gilmore, six-time world, six world champ, and then Coco Ho, who's been on form, like you mentioned. You must be pretty thrilled um, that your surfing is being validated at the moment. Yeah, I feel like my surfing, I've been happy with my surfing this year. Um, with my performances, that's a different story. So to get up here into the semis and uh, beat some big names really feels good. And um, constantly, I think my game is I have to compete against myself because... Um, it's always a challenge, I feel, and so um, I'm just really excited. The France is amazing. The beach breaks um, remind me of home at times, so um, I'm just excited for the, the, the semi and the final, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Especially against someone like Carissa that's surfing as well as she is, you know, even winning that paddle battle is going to go a long way for Nikki's confidence. Here we go, Carissa starting off with a couple of beautiful wraparound turns jamming it in the pocket right there so just combination of major turns finding that inside connection so Carissa knows how good Nikki's been surfing knows she's made five quarters in a row knows she can't afford to take her foot off the gas Nikki Van Dyke watch this turn right here from her nice wrap around out on the open face again beautiful swooping turn you talk about the style of Nikki right here jamming it in the pocket this is Nikki's best wave right here Carissa, here she goes. Having a look now and a fun looking right. She has a ton of speed. High line wrap for the Hawaiian. Into the open face. Quick rip off the top. She's hoping it's going to bowl up on the inside bank. Another solid forehand carve. And now here it starts running down the line. Quick projection snap. Grab rail. Float. Messy little landing, but she'll hang on. Carissa had the 8-8-3 start. 6-2-7 she was trying to better. Now Van Dyke. Little setup turn and she's out of there. Carissa up and riding, draws off the bottom. It's that trademark snap back into the power source, keeping that board moving rail to rail. And what that's doing, it's going to eliminate any kind of catches. It's keeping her feet in that sweet spot. Now it starts to stand up on the inside, bang through the lip. Into a snap. She'll be dangerous coming up next. Coming off the break, Carissa Moore, layback jam to start. Into the inside corner, full wrap. Trying to better a 7-8-7 seven, seven as it bowls up. Nice speed snap. A ton of momentum for the inside corner and punches it out. A flawless performance in this quarterfinal from the two-time world champ. That yellow jersey could be changing hands in 12 minutes. Well, she, she bettered that 6.27, Joe. 7.87, her second highest scoring ride. Nikki Van Dyke now needing a 9.20, and she's not finished yet. Nikki, having a look at this one, can she get herself back in the heat, Joe? Has some speed, a good section to work with, perfect snap. Van Dyke wraps the next section, clean line, draws it off the bottom, jams it again. More room, a little under the lip, hack to finish. And a really challenging section, Van Dyke hangs on. As we look at Chris's last win. <laughs> that was that first turn right there, just jamming the fins into the wave. You know, carissa has got so many different turns under her belt. Look at this fast she's going down the line. I thought she was going to go to the air, but no, nah, just kept the board in the water, jamming that last turn. So Carissa trying to improve on her situation, but how about this one? I love this wave from Nikki Van Dyke. Just seamless, beautiful surfing. Great transition work right there, mixing it up nicely, snapping through the lip right there. Critical stuff here from Nikki Van Dyke. 
So we're looking at the score line here in quarterfinal number three. Carissa Moore started with an 8-8-3 and a 7-8-7. Van Dyke with a 7.5, looking for a 9.2 on the answer back with the world number one position on the line. Meanwhile, we were waiting for a huge number to come through for Nikki Van Dyke. A 9.07 for the Australian. A one where she ripped multiple turns into the inside and got a finish. The ju judges took a few minutes before they locked that one in. Now she needs a 7.93 to really rattle this world title race. 3.15 to go. Nikki does have priority out the back. Now she's just going to try to make a move with 14 seconds and Carissa's going to come with her. It's a little inside bump that doesn't look like it's really standing up on the sandbar and it's going to roll underneath Nikki Van Dyke as we're into the countdown. The Australian turns in a 9.07 on her way before, put wow. herself in a position to come back to try to take out a two-time world champ, but she runs out of time. And now Carissa Moore makes it official, back to number one in the world. And she'll be wearing the Jeep yellow jersey, heading into the final stop of the season at Honolulu Bay. And a place where she's had that winning feeling in the past. The title race gets exciting at each and every event. And they keep just trading the jersey.